Hey, this is Mac360 here, and for the second tutorial of the Toon Boom Studio series, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the tools so that you will know how to utilize them better. I know I'm going baby steps here, but it's good for people who are beginning. So, first off, open up Toon Boom Studios, and I don't really need a name, so I'm just going to pick Create. So, here we are. So, before I start talking about the tools, um, I'll just draw something really quick. I'll draw a stick figure waving. Yeah, that's what I can draw with my mouse. It's pretty terrible. Okay, so the first tool is the selection tool. And this obviously, it picks parts of your drawing so you can resize it, modify it. You can move the, so like I can move the eyes around. So I can make them look cross-eyed or inverted cross-eyed like that. And you can also, if you click, hold, and drag, you can select your whole drawing and you can modify the whole thing you can rotate it and you can resize it now the next tool is the contour editor this is one of the most useful tools out of all of them and it's used to modify your pictures so we'll zoom in here using the X key and if I click on the drawing you'll see these points come up these are all the points that make the drawing its shape and you can modify them if you click one of the points and drag them you can see it changes it if you hold the alt key you can add more points and that can make different adjustments too you can straighten the line if you hold the apple key on your mac or the control key on your pc and it will straighten it and if you click the red line between two points you can curve the line now it looks like he has hair and the contour editor works differently with the pencil tool and the brush tool so if I get the pencil tool out and I draw a line like this, get my contour editor, and you'll see that instead of being on the outside, the dots are in the middle of the line. And they both benefit in their own ways. You can get different results with the brush and pencil. Now the next tool is the perspective tool. And the best way to show this is if I draw a square. So I'm just gonna go and delete that. And I'll just draw a square. So if you click the square with the perspective tool, you will see all of these dots appear on the sides and corners of the object. And if you click these sides, you can see it skews the drawing and reshapes it. And you can see that now it looks like a 3D plane. You can also click the corners too if you want to get a different result. And the last one is reposition all drawings. This basically moves all the drawings that are within that certain layer. Kind of useless. So now we'll be talking about the drawing tools. The first one we have is the brush tool. And this is useful if you have a pen tablet. So you can modify the brush size uh, depending on how much pressure you put on your pen tablet. Then we have the pencil tool. If you don't want to do that uh, like the brush tool does, it keeps a constant brush size the whole time corresponding to the maximum size in your pen tab. The next one we have is the rectangle tool makes rectangles. Eclipse makes circles and then we have polyline. You'll see an icon of a pen and this is actually another good way to draw pictures. You can it's kind of useful if you want to draw a certain drawing or outline and if you click hold and drag you can curve the line and to end the drawing you go to the first point. And the last drawing tool we have is the line tool. Now for the painting tools the first one you'll see is your paint bucket and like every other software it just paints in certain colors that you pick then we have unpaint if you click on a color it will delete the paint color then we have paint unpainted all it literally does is is basically an undo button we have the dropper which picks colors from your drawings we also have the closed gap if you have an opening your drawing and the paint bucket won't work you use this tool to fix that up and the last two are not that important, so I'm not going to talk about it. Next we have are the erasing tools. The first one you have is your eraser, which obviously erases your drawing. You can modify the size of it in your pen tab settings. Then we have the cutter, where you can draw a line and cut portions off of your drawings. And the only way to know it works is if you get your select tool, highlight the part that you cut off, and you will see that it will work. 
Next we have is the scissors tool. And it works like the cutter tool, but instead of making a line, you draw a box. And it pre-selects it for you, and you can move it around. Next we have is the zoom in tool, which if you obviously zooms in and zooms out of your drawing, you can click in to zoom in. You hold alt to zoom out. And if you click and drag, you can zoom in a portion of the drawing that you want to see, like so. Next to the zoom in tool, we have the grabber, which obviously moves around your canvas. And we have the text tool. Now for this next bar right here, these are all your animating tools. But I'll only be going over the first three. Okay, so I have this set up already. Um, here's my cutout character I made. His name is Mike. And he's going to be our demonstration for these last three tools. Now the first one we have is the selection tool. And what this does is if you have it on, you can select a uh, part of your character. And you can modify it. And when you're animating, the this selection tool will not modify keyframes or add keyframes. And I'll talk about that in another tutorial. The next one you have is your transform tool. And this one does modify keyframes. And I can show you how that works right now. So I'll just add a keyframe right now. I'll go to my last frame, frame 20, and add another keyframe. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to move the arms and you'll see them animate. And there you go. And if I move the keyframes, you can see that his arms are moving. And like I said before, the first select tool will not modify your keyframes or anything, but it will affect it. So I move it up like that. When it goes again, you'll see the animation is different. Now your last tools here, uh, the first one is your rotation tool. It looks like a recycling arrow. And say like I click on here on this arm right here. You'll see that there's this green circle with a dot in the middle. This is the center point of your drawing. And you can change it. So if I want to move it over here. And now it rotates around that center point. But I prefer to have it on the shoulder like an arm. And the last tool that we have is the skewer. And what this is used for is to reshape the drawing as you see right here. And this is good to add a cartoony effect to your drawings. And I'll talk about that in another tutorial. Okay, so that is it for now. I'm Matthew 60 and I'm out. Later.